What's up guys, Rob Kuhn here, and yes, I have indeed moved out of the Motel 6 and into a new spot. We're going to feature two hands today that are just so unbelievably terrible, I don't really know how to explain it other than that. This is just getting out of control. I don't know what Phil Hellmuth is doing anymore. Let's just get in the action where the blinds start off at 200, 400, 800, 1600, 3200. Yes, a 102 game to 3200 straddle. The beast philanthropy foundation mr beast's charity as helmuth picks up pocket tens and raises the fifteen thousand. Oh, stanley tang has aces what are you stanley tang has aces action folds around to helmuth who decides to make a very large to fifteen thousand pre with the blinds 3200 so almost a 5x and stanley tang decides to flat if i was stanley tang less than 20 big blinds and knowing helmuth's reputation not a guy who likes to really steal uh, I would probably just shove knowing that Helmy's going to call, but in this kind of wild of a game where people are going to call you with really wide hands post flop, I think it's a very reasonable trap as well. Has aces. <laughs> what are you Stanley Tang has aces. I just reassess. And he just situation. calls it. No, it is, he's a straddle I here. Is he trapping with aces? <laughs> it's a double straddle from Keating. Oh, boy. Keating's going to oh come in God. too. Please. So Stanley Tang Lord, Lord, just trapping so with aces. Stacking. Probably knows he's not going to get action if he three bets. My God. Of course I don't Let's dance, people. Filipino. And here comes Shamoff. Wow. Wow, I was not expecting four callers. Well. <laughs> All right. Check, check, check dark. Four way. 63,500. Check. Check to you. Check. Check to you. Aces here with the ace of diamonds still good. No one really has anything. 25. How much get a bet? 25,000 into three people on Queen Jack 4 with 10s. Action folds around to Helmuth, who decides to bet 25,000 into 60,000, so roughly 40% pot, with a hand that makes exactly zero sense to do it with. You cannot really pick a worse combo than having 10s with the 10 of diamonds, specifically because you want your opponents to have their natural fold. So you actually block their folding range by having two 10s in your hand. Another consideration that he has to factor in is Stanley Chang only has 45,000. So when he bets 25,000 and Stanley shoves, he only has 20,000 more to call. And he's actually in a very difficult spot because most of the time he only has two outs or he's praying that Stanley Tang has a flush draw. I guess that's the kind of respect that he thinks he commands. Oh, There's the all in. Yes. Oh my God, and his helmet's gonna get priced in here with 10s. Fuck. Is he gonna get priced? Generally, when you're immediately announcing fuck after a hand, you have made a mistake. Now, one betting tens is the mistake number one. Uh, another reason to check back tens is you you have a lot of good turns. You can turn a open end with king. You can turn open end with nine. Uh, you can turn a flush draw and proceed from there. There's no reason to blow at the pot in this kind of situation. So I really don't understand this bet by Helmuth here. Uh, and now he's faced with this interesting decision of having to call 20,000 more while having the 10 of diamonds and blocking all of the straight draws. So you block the king 10s, you block the nine tens. That gives them more queen X and jack X in their range. You're kind of just hoping they have a hand like the nut flush draw, maybe a king eye flush draw, uh, some lower flush draws, maybe four X of diamonds. But other than that, you really don't beat much, and all of those hands still have a lot of equity against you. I in here. It's 20,000 for 134. Seven to one. Phil, set your winning. He's going to think that maybe Stanley's got a flush draw. He's the master of the reads, though. Well, these are not the 40. Yeah, I know. I think it's the 40 right here. 45,400. Oh, what the hell can I beat? Valid question. I can beat some draws. Twice. And he is going to call. Yeah. I have one pair. 154. One pair. Oh, the ultimate. One pair. Yeah. <laughs> and even the diamonds are covered on the back door side. Helmet could make a running straight. We know that there's one 10 that's dead. Oh, why don't I check the flop? Valid question. One out. 
for half the pot. <laughs> so aces full, rib comes there at the end. 154,900 there. I gotta say, this is quite amusing when someone makes such a big blunder and everyone's just laughing in your face when your name is Phil Hummuth because what are you doing? What's going on here? You could have you could have saved all this misery by just not bet calling the flop. You could have just not bet the flop. You didn't have to call the shove. A lot of things going on. Uh, a lot of mistakes being made. Stanley Tang playing the pre-flop trap. Yeah, everybody's so happy. They straddle and deal me pocket tens. The only way I can go broke. The only way I can lose any chips, and then he has to raise exactly you one. Pocket, can you bet that? You bet the queen jack five. Of course I bet that. Fun's good. Of course I bet that. We all call 15k gold, basically. I don't know why he's saying, of course I bet that. Like, it doesn't... I, I, this makes zero sense to me. Of course I bet that. Like, what? Of course you bet what? Were you calling 25,000? <laughs> if he didn't call, I would have tried to jam him. Yeah, sure. I was not calling 25,000. He was not calling 25,000. I'm not calling, but I could race. However, if either of us had a queen or a jack we were, which you, you saw prominently displayed in front of you, of course. What the fuck is going on here? Fucking triple fucking straddle. The one thing I didn't want to do is play a bunch of straddles. Phil, are you straddling or no? No, I'm not straddling. I'm not straddling at all. In our second hand here, blinds are 100, 200, 400, no straddles, and Helmuth decides to go ahead and limp. So here's where things get very interesting. Helmuth limps, uh, cutoff limps, JR makes it 2,000, big blind, straddle, and then Helmuth decides to 3-bet with 6-7 suited. This makes zero sense as well. Generally, when you 3-bet, you want to have a blocking type of hand that allows them to have worse hands, so you want to have something like maybe an ace-5 or an ace blocker, or at least a king blocker. You want to block their hands that they have for value, right? So their aces, their kings, their ace king, whatever. Phil Helmuth has seven high. In fact, he has a really nice hand to go five ways to a flop. And he decides to turn this into a bluff. And this makes zero sense. Once again, I don't know what's happening. Squeezing it up here, 20,076 20, suited. You said 20,000, no. 10,000 episodes, right? Yeah, divide by 50. Yeah, I like that hand for two. One thing about JR is, is that he, he doesn't like to fold the ton pre-flop. Well, I don't think anyone can fault him here for folding. This, uh, Maybe we a this is a daily. limp re-raise here. <laughs> and he gets the out of there, but Keating is in there. Another situation you have to realize is, yes, JR is raising from the button and he will have plenty of steals, but he did make it a kind of a small sizing with a lot of players to act. And Helmuth's 3-bet is not going to work that often. When you have guys like Keating behind you, and Chamath, they're probably going to call you extremely wide. Keating's not going anywhere with pocket oh, threes. Not just now. This is actually a back raise by Helmuth. Oh, now Helmuth out flops him. Helmuth out flops him. Check. Flop comes a 7 5 2 club, and Helmuth promptly checks back after Keating checks. This is all very standard. Jack turns a 6. Wow. Right. Here's where you lose me again. The flop is ace-7-5, uh, turn six of diamonds. So now we have the two flush draws. We have an o a one card open-ended. And Helmuth now turns two pair. And within half a second decides to check back. The problem with checking back here is you allow a lot of hands to one, realize their equity, and two, there's just a lot of hands that you can also get value from. Perhaps Keating has a hand like pocket eights, pocket nines, ace x, diamonds, clubs. There's a lot of hands that can still call. So checking back here just doesn't make any sense because you really need to get value from all of those type of hands that Keating can have. And Keating is playing a very, very wide range here. Do not let him realize equity. You must get value from these hands. And the only reason I can think he's possibly checking back is perhaps he's scared that Keating will go for a big check raise. That's the only thing I can really think of. Check, check again, and Keating makes a straight. Help me check back two pair on the turn, and now Keating makes the bottom end of a straight. What are we watching here? The no look bet. 50. No look bet. Keating with the pure swagger bet, no looking and betting 50,000. Pretty gangster. Alan Mahomes. I'm having a lot of fun today, boys. A lot of fun. <laughs> what soliloquy, guys? Like in Hamlet. 
motherfucker, I have two pair and I'm gonna turn and freaking like it's extremely hard not to laugh at Helmuth and Estries. <laughs> and granted, Helmuth does actually make the correct fold here, but there was a lot of mistakes that actually led to this. One, going for the back raise pre. This is just completely unnecessary and having a lot of loose players behind you. And two, the biggest mistake is going for the check back on the turn. It just makes no sense, and it's just unnecessary to allow someone to realize their equity and potentially allow them to bluff you off, you know, dangerous rivers, as this is a very dangerous river. Keating just happens to have it this time. Anyway, hopefully Helmy figures it out and stops making bad decisions, but you can make a good decision by clicking on the sub button below and supporting this small YouTube channel as I'm trying to grow and continue doing this hand history analysis. Much love.